What's up guys? Today I'm going to show you how to record Minecraft for free with no lag. And we're going to be using a program called Open Broadcast Software. So you type in OBS on Google and click the first link and click download. And I'm not going to show you how to install it because it's super easy. So then once that's done you'll have Open Broadcast Software I'm going to use a 64 bit because I'm on 64. And this is what it'll look like. None of this stuff will be here. These are scenes I've added. So I'm just going to show you what you have to do. So let me move it. Okay, so you're going to click Add Scene. And I'm going to name it Minecraft, let's say. And there's no sources. So we need a source. So we're going to open Minecraft. And you can't have just the launcher open, you actually have to be on the Minecraft menu. So we'll do play. <coughs> Excuse me. And this is good enough. It just has to be at least on that screen. Then you can do sources and click, or you right click sources and click add. And then game capture. And I'm going to name it Minecraft. And it found the only applicate the only application only open and you can click refresh if you don't find it and it's Java W and then Minecraft and if you want him to be able to see your cursor you can check that or uncheck it um, you can have it inverted when you click I don't really mess with any of that um, you can click OK and then it should work so you can click preview stream and right now Minecraft isn't uh, maximize so it's like that but let me maximize it quick and we can go back and it'll refresh and it's full screen so now we need to do some settings so we're gonna stop the preview we're gonna do settings and we're gonna go to encoding and this is your bitrate which is um, how much data is being captured per second so if you're recording at 1080p you're going to want a higher bitrate. Um, 7000 is probably good for 1080p, but I have 9000 just because I'm kind of a perfectionist. And I like higher quality, and my computer can handle it. But let's say, for instance, you're doing 720. So we can do uh, 6000. And um, you can change the... Uh, audio settings here if you want but you can just leave that alone too that's what I did uh, and then you have to click apply because it'll it won't save it unless you click apply down at the bottom and then we go to broadcast settings over here this is the most important part you can do it'll be like this um, by default and you click file output only and then you browse to wherever you want your video saved right now it's here I'm gonna change it to my desktop and you have to name it so I'm gonna do recording and then here's your recording hotkey to start and stop recording so when I press F10 it'll start recording and when I press F11 it'll stop and you can click clear so let me do clear and I'm gonna do um, I'll do slash so that's how you do that so we click apply and then you can do video so let's say you have a 1080p monitor and your computer can only handle um, 720p recording. So what we're going to do is we're going to downscale the resolution to 720, so one and a half times. And then you can do good detail. Fastest will have less lag, but it'll lower the quality. I'm just going to do this because it's default. You can lower the FPS. You can raise it if you want. Um, what does that say? Uh, we don't need to mess with that. So you can click OK or apply. Then here's more audio settings for setting up your microphone. So I just use a default because my microphone is default. So um, you can have push to talk. You can do delay in millisecond with push to talk. You can have a hotkey for muting your microphone if you want. Um, you can do boost the audio, you can boost the microphone, and um, this is for live streaming, mostly the mic time offset. So 
or hmm, not really I guess if you're using like a webcam and there's a delay you can offset the delay so that's pretty handy my brother has to do that when he's live streaming <coughs> but since we didn't change anything on this uh, we don't have to click anything and then advanced you can use m use multi-threaded optimization so uh, that is for um, multi-threaded uh, CPUs. So mine is, if I right click uh, taskbar, I have an uh, Intel Core i7. So I have uh, four cores hyper threaded to eight. Each one of these is a core and this is my RAM. So most computers uh, have multiple cores or multi-threaded. So um, that's what that is. You can uncheck it and it only use um, one core. Uh, you can set the priority so that's um, how much um, of the CPU the program will use. Normal should be fine. If not, you can change it. I didn't mean to click that. Um, this is uh, how it, how um, how much priority the encoder gets. Um, it says by default to leave it at very fast. Um, but if you have it at ultra fast, doesn't it say? So. I know. Okay, here it is. Setting the value of this, setting the value higher reduces CPU usage. So the highest. So if you have it like that, it'll be a lot lower quality, but um, it won't be. It won't have an impact on your CPU as much, which will affect lag. Um, I just have it very fast. It's default. Um, I think by default this is zero. So I'm going to put it back to that. Two is for. Um, uh, Twitch. It wants you to put it at 2 for some reason. I don't really know what it does, uh, but I changed it. So, you don't really need to check anything else. Um, here's the global audio offset. So, if all of your audio is off by a certain amount, then you can do that and it'll do all the audio. Um, you, we don't need to worry about network stuff because we're not streaming. So we click apply to save it and here's more audio settings so you can raise and lower your microphone and stuff. So I'm not going to change any of that so we can click cancel. And because I am recording with fraps I'm not going to use my hotkey because I don't want it to stop fraps. So I'm going to open up Minecraft and I'll just go to our server quick. Oh, what a lovely server it is and I am going to open this back up otherwise you could just press your um, press your hotkey which mine is slash right now but I'm not going to press it so you can do start recording and it is recording you can see it recording my voice and I'll put this video in the description uh, so you can see quality um, so there it is that is how you record for free with no lag. So here, let's downsize it. Let's downsize this. And here's my recording right here. And recording, and it is recording. You can there see it, it is. recording my voice. <laughs> and I'll put so yeah. Uh, that's about it. If you liked it, uh, remember to check back for more. I'm gonna start doing a lot of videos like this. Uh, where our channel is doing a whole bunch of tutorial stuff right now and we kind of like it so uh, yeah thanks for watching hope you learned something bye recording and it is recording you can see it recording my voice and I'll put this video in the description uh, so you can see quality um, so there it is. That is how you record for free.